Alright guys, so I'm joined here by Yana. Hello! So she's gonna be taking us around uh, this campus tour, talking about all the prominent places, like which yeah. are students, yes. uh, they really should know. Yes, so this is what the entrance looks like. Welcome to Schema Business School, Sofia Antipolis. Normally, you will have to have a card okay. in order to enter, enter the building. So now we are going into the reception area. <laughs> Once you enter, here is the at reception. In French, it's called accueil. Accueil. Okay. Here you can ask any questions okay. concerning where is the room, what person you're looking for, right. anything like that. Is this Schema's biggest campus, you would say? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So let me show you one of the lecture halls over here. Is this Please for everybody or? Come in. Okay. Yes, this is for the students. It's where you're gonna have some classes. Whoa. This is how it looks like. We have a TVs for in order for you to give presentations and stuff. All the classes are fully equipped with microphones. This is where we entered from, like yes. right there. That was the reception area. We walked upstairs and then we went to this hall. And this lane is actually not for students. This is exclusively for directors and they have their offices here. What's yeah, next? This hall is just for uh, our staff members and we can maybe see the big biggest lecture hall if you would like. Okay. So as you know, Schema is a global business school and we have many campuses all over the world. In France, there are three. Sofia Antipolis, Lille and Paris. Uh, we have one in the United States in Raleigh. We have one in China in Suzhou and one in Brazil, Belo Horizonte. So here is another lecture hall, which is even bigger than the last can fit in, and lots of people. It's like a theater, huh? The cool thing is, on this screen, we can get in contact with all of our campuses all over the world. I can see, and we huh. can have a, like a video chat all hmm. together at once. Uh, this is my favorite part of the campus. I usually grab a coffee and Go out, enjoy the sunshine. So this all belongs to Schema, yeah? You it's can, like... all belongs to Schema, yeah. So here we are at the student office where you can basically ask any question you have concerning your academic life or if you have some issues with administrative stuff in France. <laughs> and don't forget, once you're satisfied with your question, you click the green button because wow. you're happy That's with the service. That's instant feedback, huh? Yes, instant feedback. So we're in Korea Center and I'm going to introduce you to my colleague who okay. works here. So what kind of concerns do you get, especially from Indians? Because they're always looking out for part-time jobs and internships. So mm -hmm. that it's easy for them to pay their bills. We have them mostly with internships because you know, it's a requirement for the degree here. Correct. Uh, complete minimum four to six month uh, professional experience. Right. And the difficulty for them is that they don't, uh, they are not proficient in French. Mm. And uh, most companies in France, you know, need a minimum of French. Right. We have international uh, companies hiring non-French student, mm -hmm. and french speaking student, but there are not so many. You handle alumni network, this department, how can I get benefit out of being a student or ex-student from, mm -hmm. from Schema? So hi, nice to meet you. So I'm in charge of the alumni network, especially international clubs. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, 30 clubs uh, all over the world. My team is in charge of 42,000 alumni. 42,000, wow. How do I get benefit out? Imagine I, I was studying in Paris campus and I got a job back in India. I went back, now what? What we offer, we have three kind of offers, services. We have social uh, events, like networking events, 
uh, cocktails. And then we have uh, business events, conferences, roundtables. So in total we do 200 events per year. All the alumni can come and benefit from these services. Right. All the alumni have access to the alumni directory with all this, the contact of the uh, 42,000 graduates. Wow. So if you want to uh, talk to somebody from Brazil, uh, you can have access to this contact and uh, job information and you can contact him or her directly. Same if you travel, if you live in India and you travel to London for mm -hmm. example, you can join our events. We have community which is really flying and travelers right. and all over the world. What you're saying is I can go on the directory, find their names, email IDs and approach them. Yeah, so exactly. Part of a networking which you have created internally. Exactly. And, uh, our alumni, they have a really strong sense of belonging to the school. They spend two, four, three years here and they like to share the experience. Uh, so it could be on a meeting or it could be on a social event right. or an article on the website, for example. Right. This campus is indeed so big that I've got lost a few times. For those of you who like climbing mountains and the walls, <laughs> <laughs> here you have. So we're going to the Student Life Center where you can find all types of associations, clubs, musical clubs and stuff like that. Okay, this is the accommodation for accommodation students. For students yes. It's pretty cool because on the top yeah. you have a view of the mountains. Wow, okay. Why should I know these associations, by the way? Because if you are an active, positive student, mm -hmm. you have to know all of these associations in order to integrate yourself in a student life. So here we are in the Student Life Center, and here you have all the associations existing in Schema, uh, Sofia Antipolis. You need them in order to integrate yourself in a student life. For example, Interculture, they are working with international students and they're promoting all kinds of activities, for example, uh, recently they went to Venice, fun activities like coffee breaks and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Uh, this is association, it's called HOPE and it's a humanitarian association. They're doing lots of lots of things. Okay, so if you are hungry, you should come here and we have all kinds of different snacks, salads, lunchbox. It's over here. Here we have a gym, it's pretty important. Let's go. Where... Yoga studio or where is the... Workout, okay, the, the corner. So it's more like a, like a Zumba studio or yoga yeah, yeah, studio. Yeah. Here you can have like a dance class or fitness, all sorts of facilities.